Hi, thanks for stopping by. Um, in this video, we are looking at a Disney 100 minifig. There are 18 di different minifigures in this series. Um, we are looking at one figure today. We are looking at Milan. Um, Milan is one of the um, Disney princesses. She did have her own cart um, cartoon movie, um, which, uh, and then she also had a live um, action version, which I wasn't a super fan of because I. You know, we're not going to get into the, you know, why, why I didn't like it. Well, but the cartoon, I loved. I loved the cartoon. I loved the dragon in it. I loved the little, uh, I think there was another little figure there, right? Um, you can see that that's what you get inside, inside the little lamp. Um, so there's like a cricket, it looks like. So you get a little lamp. Um, it has a little gold here and it has a little tower here. That's the accessory that you get. And the other thing, if you are unfamiliar with Disney 100, they are um, giving these little base plates out on all their characters. And th that makes it really stand out because normally I don't talk about the base plates here because I'm like, eh, who cares about the base plate? But Disney 100 actually, um, they had to uh, Lego print them out on it. And it's not taped. It's printed on it. Like they painted it in it. So it's fantastic, folks. Um, so what you do get is you get two swords for Milan. All right, so she is in her um, warrior outfit. She does have two heads. So she has an angry look. You know, when she's enraged. And she has a happy look, right? So um, then her hair has a little different texture. And it's actually harder to get on her, to make it stick on her head. Just so you know, it doesn't fit on super smoothly. Like when I first was looking at it and trying to build it with stop motion, I had a little bit of difficulty time trying to get it in, onto the right. I had a really difficult time trying to get it on the right placement, which I disliked. Um, so that is one negative about this set is the hair piece does not fit the way I want it to. And then how it comes down, you can see um, it just come, hugs the body. So you're not really gonna get much play on how she can turn her head. Um, so it's more, in my mind, for displayability, not for playability. Um, she has two swords. So she only, I, in the stop motion I did, I only put one. Um, Milan is a great character to have. She is a great princess. She is a uh, stand by herself. She's independent in a sense. She is uh, a, a powerhouse in general. She has, um, you can see the detail on her um, is dark blue, orange belt, maroon um, chest piece. And she has a medallion, her, her family crest on her. And then she has the blue sleeves here. Um, and she has white pants. And then she has bike boots on. Um, so uh, Milan itself um, is a great character. If the problem that you that I have here with her, if you are displaying her, is she displayable? Absolutely she is. Will people recognize that that is Milan? Probably not. Um, you would have to really know, you would have to have this character standing by other char Disney characters and you're gonna, probably going to stare at it a little couple minutes and go, what character is that? And then, then you maybe look at the accessory here and then you're like, oh, that's Milan. So I, I think Milan's a harder character to really pinpoint to show that who she is. Um, it's just my opinion, just by staring at her. Um, and the other thing is if then I'm asking, you know, like, Hey, if you got multiple of these, because in, um, mini figures, we always get doubles, right? We get the same characters over and over again. You get the ones you don't want, you get the ones you want, right? So the way mini figures work is you can feel the package, but it's hard to tell which ones are which. I even did a segment where there's numbers on the back, and then I took two of them that had the same numbers. You got different characters. So, unfortunately, as long unless the character has something that really stands out, like um, in this series, it would be Queen of Hearts. She totally stands out because she has a bigger base plate, which I don't like those bigger base plates. I have said in, a, in previous videos, I don't know. Yes, I have. Um, I don't like the type um, that are a big, huge, that take up the whole piece of the bottom. I don't like them. Um, and they just started rolling them out. At least I just started getting them. They could have been out forever and I just never was getting those characters or I wasn't really looking at them in more detail. Um, but for this one, you can probably feel for the, her, her swords here, the headpiece, um, there's two of them that come out like this, that have hair like this. And that would be, um, Milan and Pocahontas. Um, I have not gotten Pocahontas yet um, so far, so I don't know um, how her hair piece, but I know it has a flow out. 
And I'm, I'm assuming the, her detail is going to be easier to tell that it's Pocahontas. Not sure yet, though. Um, but for uh, Milan here, I know who she is because of um, the segment. And then when I opened her up, I'm like, oh, that's Milan. Because I knew she was in this. Um, but if you're staring at her, you might not know that that is Milan. And then you also have, if you ask yourself, you, you know, like, would if you got multiples of this character, would that upset you, right? Getting this for your kid, having multiple uh, Milans, wouldn't be a problem, right? You you just have because I don't think she stands out enough to, uh, in my opinion, she doesn't stand out enough to register that you it's Milan, right? So if your child's getting these to play with, you can just have tons of female warriors, which is perfectly fine for any collection. Or if you have tons of these down a street, if you're having a war, I, I don't think you can just make her, you know, all the angry faces. I don't, I don't think that this would serve any harm in getting tons of Milans in your collection. And then if you're displaying them, um, I, I think, by her next to a bunch of other characters, you will recognize that it is Milan. Now, just for reference, I did get two of these, and you get two of the base plates, just so you know, when you do get these type of figures, um, Lego typically gives you the small little dinky things, the extra in case you lose them. I did drop the other one of these on the floor, but I still have the extra gold piece right there. Um, so I, I don't know where the other one went. It just started off, you know, it's, it's those fun little things for your feet. Um, just know, like I, I, one of the, um, for this little thing here, this little beauty, uh, in one of my advent counters, they had a little gun, little, little thing that you put these in and it shoots them out. And I was like, Oh my God. Oh my God. That's hell for any parent, right? A little kid's going to put them in and they shoot, they shot really good distance. And I'm going, why did they come up with this? This is horrible. <laughs> like this is, these things are horrible for your feet. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for um, sticking with it. If you are a subscriber, I really appreciate you listening. Um, please comment below. What are your thoughts? Uh, and um, thanks for watching and see you tomorrow. Hi, thanks for watching that last video. If you're not a subscriber and you're thinking about it, it doesn't cost you anything, how about you hit that subscribe, that blue little button on the left side. And if you uh, want to watch the next one, how about you watch that next video up there? You know, it's, it's not going to bite. Go ahead and watch it. Come on, you know you want to.